So we're just at the point now um, where we're going to start loading the truck. So I just thought I'd uh, give you a little rundown of the gear we're going to try and take with us. Um, so let's start down here. What have we got? We've got all our stuff for camping. Uh, stoves, lights, plates, cups, bowls, all that kind of stuff. Um, our water bottle, um, dry bags, hanging food, um, the rest of the stuff for the rooftop tent, wash bowl. We have our spare wheel, jerry can for fuel, fire extinguisher, um, and then we have. So say we need to we need to fix a wheel on route. You know you get once you get a flat, then you fix. You know you swap out your wheel and you get another flat. You're in the middle of nowhere. You need to pump up the tire, fix the tire. Yep. Um, tire repair kit, plugs and feathers. Um, you know you ream the hole in the tire, plug it, wax it, pump it up again. So. Um, we need an air compressor, so we have an onboard air compressor, um, which runs off the auxiliary battery we have in the back. Has a 20 foot hose on it. Can pump up, apparently, can pump up one of these big 33s in two minutes, kind of thing. Right. Um, yeah, here's our jack. Um, shovel for, you know, uh, Digging toilets, digging our truck out when we get it stuck. Axe for firewood and uh, you know, um, chopping down trees. Um, spare parts for the truck. Um, we got spare lights, uh, spare motors for the windscreen wiper, spare um, light kits for round. You know, like. We smash one of the lights, we want to replace it so we don't get pulled over. Filters, um, oil filter, fuel filter, heater hose, electrical tape, bailing wire, hose, clamps, tapes, you know, all our lubricants for the chassis, wheel bearings, um, some gasket maker for sealing up things and, and fixing diffs and. Um, yeah, then we got our medical kit. Um, tent each, in case we need to drop tents and use the truck. Can't use the rooftop tent. Hooker, portable chairs, absolutely essential. And then we got full tool kit and full socket set for fixing the truck and uh, all our recovery gear. So you know we have the we have the winch on the front of the truck. We get stuck and we need to right. pull ourselves out. Um, all kinds of shackles, um, all kinds of shackles, and um, uh, like tree savers. You know, go around the tree, shackle, clamp, pull ourselves out. Uh, all kinds of uh, kind of straps, and bungees, and stuff like that. This is an this is a, an exhaust jack. So instead of using, you know, say we say we break down somewhere, it's like, you know, knee deep mud or sand, then we can't use this jack because it will just push into the ground. And this actually has a has a kind of like fireman's hose thing that sticks onto the exhaust, and then a big bag you put under the diff, turn the engine on, the exhaust fumes fill up the jack, lift the truck up, hmm. take cool. the wheel off with that, and that's pretty much it. Um, obviously we've got surfboards, <laughs> surfboards, clothes, all our wetsuits, um, and all the fun gear on top of all this. This is pretty much just the gear we need for, uh, for the truck and to set up camp. And on top of that we've got all our food. Obviously all the different fluids we need for battery water, coolant, engine oil, transmission oil, clutch and brake oil. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. I can't really think of anything else. Um, can you? No. Okay. So that's about it. And hopefully all this will fit in there.
but we'll see in about <laughs> half an hour. And that's it. So anyway, I just want to thank some people. Um, I'd like to thank Gordon Smith from Beast Gear for hooking us up with the rooftop tent, the awning, um, Jerry Can, uh, this, that, and the other. Uh, I'd like to thank my friend Mark for all the carpentry uh, in my truck, the, the, the bed structure and the, uh, the drawers. I'd like to thank Carol from Favorite Gifts in Lonsdale Key, great little shop, for, uh, <laughs> for all their research and help and everything. And I'd like to thank Erin Galvin from uh, Grubby Girls Gear and Apparel, www.grubbygirlsgear.com. Uh, for her constant support and lift everywhere. I'd like to thank Peter Larson, my mechanic, for going above and beyond and, uh, and helping me get this thing sorted out um, and keeping me positive. I'd like to thank Steve from EBI for all his constant advice on suspension and, and four-wheel drive gear. And uh, I'd like to thank all my mates here and at home. And I'd like to thank all my family whose support is, uh, is all behind us on this trip and hopefully uh, we can carry all their good good energy down to Panama. Um, and I'd like to thank Ashley Tanasicek uh, for his, uh, for helping me put together the blog and all of the computer work and photography and, and stuff like that and helping me get that stuff wired. So check out his blog at the moment on WordPress. And I think that's about it. There's probably loads of people I've forgotten to thank, um, so you know who you are. And I'm sorry if my brain's gone blank right now, but uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I just like to thank everybody for, for helping me. Um, there's been a lot of people involved in all sides of this trip, and couldn't have done it without them all. So there you go, mate. Hopefully There's this will get us down to Panama and back, but you know, I've learned so much in the last in the last you know year and, and of getting all all this trip together that it's been an amazing success anyway before we even left Vancouver. So everything after this is a bonus. So next nice. stop Vancouver Island tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, and south from there. So uh, see you later and check the blog out. Um, if know. someone sees this on YouTube and they're not on your blog, what's the blog called? Uh, www.greenhornsurf.wordpress.com Nice. So go on there, check out what we're doing and where we're going to be. Come and say hello if you're en route. And uh, if you're feeling flush, buy us a bit of gas. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>